गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज जीवन फ्राम केंद्रीय विद्यालय बड़वा विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू इम पार्ट सम नोट्स ऑन सेंटेंस एंड इट्स काइंड दीज आर द सेल्फ मेड नोट्स ऑफ माइंड यू कैन नोट डाउन दैम एज वेल ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर पेपर एट द टाइम ऑफ वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो बाई पॉजिंग इट और बाई हैविंग द स्क्रीन शॉट एट फर्स्ट वी वुड लाइक टू नो समथिंग अबाउट सेंटेंस or you may say we would like to define a sentence in a proper way so that the student can get it in an easy way what is a sentence sentence can easily be defined as a group of words or word which makes complete sense it called sentence at first we would like to know about the first part of this sentence a group of words as you know if you talk about a sentence a sentence can consist of many words but the condition is that the words we are going to use in a sentence as a group must provide a kind of complete sense of the sentence and sometime we can also find especially in imperative sentences we see the sentence is started by us with the help of Word. For an example, come, go. You can see the example has already been written out there. So that is also a sentence in itself, which is going to provide us the complete sense of a particular thing. So, for an example, if we talk about a group of words, so we can see this example which have been taken by me. I am teaching you today. Here we can see the words I teaching you and today. are coming together to give a complete sense whatever i want to tell you the second example is of imperative sentence that's only one word has been written there that is go but it is also going to complete its sense so we can say or we can understand the group of words or a particular word especially i am indicating it in um, imperative sentence now we are going to read something about the kinds of sentences basically we have seen and i am sure of this thing you must be well known to this thing that sentence kind basically there are five kinds of sentences the first one is assertive sentence or declarative sentence if you talk about assertive sentence or declarative declarative sentence as through these name we can come to know a sentence that makes a statement or a sentence that declares something for an example she sat there and we can take many more examples like that i go there she comes to me to be taught she goes there and etc second kind of sentence is interrogative sentence most of the student usually commit mistake at the time of having the pronunciation of interrogative they sometime read it interrogative but it is not interrogative it is interrogative sentence normally a sentence that asks a question and in most or almost in each and every sentence of interrogative sentence we see a question mark at the end of the sentence the example you can see where do you go how are you do you eat food and all so basically if we talk about interrogative sentence in the next video i will tell you the kinds or the variety of interrogative sentence the third kind of sentence is imperative sentence as earlier i was telling you this one that is go is the example of the same kind of sentence imperative sentence a sentence that expresses these five things what are those a s o r i let me tell you the full form of these five alphabets a for advice s for suggestion o for order r for request and i for invitation sometime in day to day life 
we usually use these kinds of sentences willingly or unwillingly but now you must take the notice of these that these kinds of sentences are spoken under the heading imperative sentence for an example come here please that is going to be a request do come to my house that's a kind of invitation go there that's a kind of advice get out of my room that's a kind of order now fourth kind of sentence is optative sentence as with the help of this heading you yourself can easily come to know what might it have at the time of sense if we talk about optative sentence a sentence that expresses our wishes or willings or desire in form of prayer whenever the speaker wants to have this pray to god uh, especially to express his wishes to express his desires in life for an example may you live long may you get success in your life and all your wishes can be good or bad as well that means negative and positive as well but we should always try to have positive wishes in life no doubt the last kind is fifth that is exclamatory sentence now that kind of sentence what is that let us talk about this a sentence that expresses a strong or sudden feelings for an example how hot the day is especially if you talk about the identification of this kind of sentence you can see the mark of exclamation at the end of the sentence wherever or whenever we use thank you